Hello everybody, welcome to My Life TV. This is episode one. Uh, really excited to be here. My name is Ben Yosef. I'm the president of My Life The Fitness Company. Today's date is January 3rd, 2010. Just got done with the holiday season and New Year's. Had a great time hanging out with my girlfriend, spending some time with some real good friends. Had a couple of drinks, didn't go too crazy with the, with the drinking or the eating. Wanted to definitely keep everything tight so I could start my 2010 contest prep on a good note. Um, a little bit about me. I started my bodybuilding journey in uh, 2002, uh, March of 2002. I've done four bodybuilding contests to date. Um, I really didn't want to regret not doing bodybuilding. I mean, I, I didn't want to be one of those guys to see a bodybuilding magazine or a contest and, and think, you know, what if I had done that? What if I had competed? You know, I just wanted to do it. I wanted to get it out and do it. My average weight um, is about 190 pounds at about 10 to 11 percent body fat. That's about where I was when I started this journey. I wanted to test out the weight gain and then cutting process before I would compete. And I actually did it two times before finally competing the third time. Um, I went up the first time to 280 pounds. Ridiculous. Our, my waist was about 200 and, I'm sorry, my waist was about 42 inches. Wasn't a pretty sight, but uh, I think I needed to do that for the learning experience. But I went up to 280, cut down to 220. The look was okay that I'd achieved, not great, but it was okay. The next time I went up in weight was probably about a year later. This time I went up to about 250 pounds, cut back again to 220. This time I was really happy actually. I felt that I uh, could have competed, but I didn't. Uh, I gave myself one more chance, one more try at the weight gain and weight cutting before I competed. So that leads us into my contest history. I joined with the IMBF, the International Natural Bodybuilding Federation. I wanted to compete, okay, but I didn't want to do steroids. And I, I didn't even know that natural bodybuilding existed. So I started to research and I was looking at shows to compete in and I saw these guys on drugs and steroids and they were looking really big. I was really kind of intimidated and eventually I landed and I found uh, the natural bodybuilding associations. And again, I joined with the INBF. They are really the biggest and best natural bodybuilding organization out there. Um, they have Natural Bodybuilding Magazine, which is actually a, a subscription-based magazine. They have it on newsstands as well. Very impressive uh, organization that they run there. So that's where I compete. Um, the first show I ever competed in was in June 2005. It was the Hercules Contest. I went up to about 240 pounds, cut down to 210. This, I did the novice division at this show, where I placed 8th out of 10 guys. Although that's not very good, I really felt like I had arrived. I mean, I felt like I belonged. Um, at the time, I didn't have a big bodybuilding community around me. I don't have, I didn't have a lot of friends that competed. I had no one that competed. So it seemed like I was sort of on this journey by myself, going to this contest, competing, being backstage with you know men, women, old, young, bodybuilders, fitness people. I really felt at home. I really felt I belonged, and, and I was hooked from then on. Um, I wanted to do much better, though. Obviously, the eighth place showing wasn't the, the best, so I wanted to do a lot better. So I got my stuff together. The judges told me I was a little bit too, um, I needed to be more conditioned, which means I needed to be more ripped. They told me I had all the look, I had the, the size that I needed, I just needed to be more ripped. So the next show I did was October 2005, the Natural New York State Contest, where I went up to a modest 225 pounds, cut down to 197 pounds. Um, needless to say, I did very well at this show. I actually won the heavyweight class, and I actually won the overall. And uh, you can log on to MyBowLife.com, which is the uh, website, and actually see pictures of this. Go into the gallery, check out pictures of my history. Really cool stuff there as well. And we'll talk about the website and all that a little bit later. Um, June 2006 was my next show where I competed at the Hercules again, this time in the Open class, which is like a step up. Um, I came down to about 195 pounds. I placed six, six out of uh, ten guys. Decent showing, not great, decent. Um, the next show I did was April 2007. It was the Natural Northeast Classic, where I placed um, second, actually. I lost first by one point. So I was really happy with that. That was actually the last show that I did in April 2007. So that leads us to the 2010 plans. What's, what's in store for 2010? So again, we're just out of the holidays now. I took a week off um, at the end of the year in 2009 here. Uh, I really needed a break. I mean, I was doing two a days, you know, training twice a day, doing cardio in the off season, dieting pretty hard, just to try to really keep myself together because I really want to be, you know, lean and mean and ready for the 2010 season. 
Um, right now I'm about 225 pounds. Again, I'm six uh, foot and three quarter inches. Uh, I think I'm going to come down maybe to the light heavyweight class, maybe the heavyweight class, I don't really know, depending on the package that I put together and how I'm looking as I diet, I'll really determine at that point, you know, what class I'm going to compete in. But the next show I'm going to do is the Natural Northeast America. It's in Mattawa, New Jersey. Actually, I'm excited because I'm going to do this show in bodybuilding. My girlfriend, Lauren, who you guys will meet and see, um, is going to do figure uh, at this show. And I actually have a, a client and a friend, uh, Mary Kasich, who's new to the whole thing. She's going to do her first figure show at this show. So we'll have a little bit of, of a team uh, at this contest, so I'm really excited about that. So that's me. Enough about me. What's Mybo Life? So Mybo Life stands for Mind, Body, and Life. It's a company I started about 16 months ago uh, in September, September, October of 2008. So um, I was a, kind of a corporate America guy for about 10 years. Um, most recently, I was at a company for seven years at a corporate, a corporate capacity, corporate sales actually. So, you know, suit and tie, basically businessman stuff. Um, really happy with that. I mean, I learned a lot about business. Being in corporate America is great. But I really wanted to do my own thing. I wanted to, first of all, run my own company and I wanted to be involved in fitness. So, I started my whole life. Um, I do uh, diets, I do training for clients. My, my true passion is contest preparation, getting athletes ready to compete in bodybuilding, figure, fitness, what have you. But I work with non-competitors as well and have just as much fun. The site uh, is mibolife.com, M-I-B-O-L-I-F-E.com, where you can see tons of photos, get tons of information about the company. And uh, There's a clothing line also, which is really awesome. I have about nine or ten items in the clothing line from hats to tank tops, uh, hoodies, track jackets, things like that. So what is My Life TV? Um, again, I had a DVD in the works. We we're going to be cutting a DVD and selling it um, to, to folks, but I decided to not do that and just offer the material, offer this content for free via uh, My Life TV. Um, what I'm doing is basically featuring a very intimate look into my life as the president of My Life, um, and as I prepare and as my clients prepare for the 2010 contest season, um, I'm going to be talking about just the, the fitness company that I own. I'm going to be talking about um, the lifestyle. We're going to do some grocery shopping. We're going to do some training footage. It's going to be awesome. So most of the content is actually not even going to be like this. You're not going to see me sitting in a chair rambling on. It's going to be action stuff, okay? But I wanted to just start this first episode and really give you guys a little background on, on me and on what we're doing here. Um, the episodes are going to be most likely under 10 minutes to keep it keep it brief. I know a lot of us have ADD and can't be watching a, you know, an hour long video or anything like that. So most of the video is going to be uh, 10 minutes or less. Um, the footage is raw, so we're not doing any editing actually. So you're going to hear me stuttering and there may be some swear words, um, but it's going to be somewhat of an outline. So that'll be good. Um, other than that, you know, log on to Bible Life TV, you know, on YouTube, subscribe if you want. Subscriptions are cool. You can interact with me, interact with other folks. You can make comments and stuff like that. Um, that's about it for episode one. Have fun. Enjoy. We'll be back uh, with more.